Okay, we're going to be talking now about properties of rational functions. Now, a rational function is anything in the form of this p of x over q of x. Then now, think about what p of x is. That's a function all in itself, a polynomial function. Q also is a polynomial function. So we're talking about a rational function being a polynomial over a polynomial. These are things basically that have x in some form in the denominator. Now it also says that Q or the denominator function is not the zero polynomial. And if you think about it, that makes a lot of sense because if we have, um, you know, x squared plus 5 over 0, we can't have that because we cannot divide by 0. That's not allowed. So the denominator cannot be 0 is what it's saying there. Now they say the domain is the set of all real numbers except those for which the denominator q is 0. We've actually talked about this before. We have found the domain of rational functions and we said whatever the denominator is we set it equal to 0 and find the holes in the domain. So we've already done this but we're going to go ahead and work through another example so that we can see make sure that everybody is on the same page. So here we have a function that is 6 over x plus 3 times 4 minus x. This is a rational function because we have a polynomial of 6 and then a polynomial of um, two binomials in the denominator. Okay, if I'm going to find the domain, because this is rational, we're supposed to set the denominator equal to 0 and find the holes. So I'm going to take that denominator and set it equal to 0. Now this is already in factored form, so we basically have something times something equals 0. We can now use that zero product property that says either x plus 3 must equal 0 or 4 minus x must equal 0. So if I solve each one of these, um, I have x equals negative 3, and if I move the x over here, we get 4 equals x. So our domain would be everything except these two numbers. These two numbers are the holes in our domain. So if I write that um, using set builder notation, this would be the set of all x's such that x cannot equal a negative 3, x cannot equal a 4, just like that.